If you thought Mission Control looks a lot like Salesforce, then you'd be correct. Mission Control is built natively on Salesforce, so you can leverage all the capability Salesforce provides you. For example, we're looking at a Salesforce dashboard built from Salesforce reports, and in this case, using Mission Control metrics. So we can look at metrics that we care about as a business or by individual role around the financial impacts, the performance from a schedule basis, even you know, things such as hours remaining on a project. And to drill down from here, we don't need to go into another system. We can drill through to the actual report where we can see the hours scheduled, completed and remaining, and even drill through to an individual project. So in two or three clicks, you've gone straight from that holistic view right down to looking at the individual project. And the way you view the project can be different by role. You can have it tailored, especially, especially configured for your business. And you know, depending on what you want to see, I've chosen to land in the project insights where I can see my cost performance has gone red and my schedule performance is still green. I'm seeing how many actions are completed and remaining, anything overdue, uh, looking at any you know, risks or issues that may be related to the project looking at the time log burn down and seeing all the other aspects of the project that I may care about and only switching on or switching off those aspects we want people to see, looking at our billable value delivered and remaining, looking at the hours allocated and remaining, any purchase orders or expenses and tracking the margin, that profit and loss, and even seeing the invoice status. So today, perhaps you're doing this in multiple systems and it's not really gelling, you've got access to this at your fingertips all in one system. I've been able to go to a granular view of the project looking at the work breakdown structure. So I've been able to go to an individual phase and go to individual milestones and look at the actions where we're assigning those pieces of work and having the estimate versus actuals rolling up both to the milestone, the phase and to the project level. Again, you know, having that real time access and perhaps you'd like to see all the actions and the status and where they're up to so you can flip between views not having to go in and out of systems which is extremely powerful there's also a kanban view both standalone and also uh, from a project view so we can see what's actually happening we can see who's allocated uh, we can configure what fields we want to view this by we can leverage salesforce chatter raise issues, we can log time, we can log time where we're working, or we can use the standalone timesheet. And a Gantt chart view, both within the individual project and also standalone. So being able to say, see very quickly what's happening with a project, where it is on a progress perspective, even showing non-working days for the individual roles, allocating either individual or multiple people working on actions and showing the critical path and you know, where things are up to with a project. From a resourcing perspective, Resource Planner gives you that heads up view of how busy your people are working now and into the future. I've filtered to my key people. I can see the capacity line it hasn't been reached. We can see the actions, any uh, holidays, vacation time, any forecast work coming up. And I can look at that in a granular view as well. So seen by my individuals, either by weeks, days or months, how busy they're actually looking and what work they're actually allocated to. And even whether it's billable, non-billable, or that's holiday time, vacation time that's been taken and the individual projects when those hours are actually impacting. If I need to start reallocating people, the scheduler gives me that ability. For example, I could see Alana's busy. Maybe she's called and said she's not going to be available today. She's going to take the whole rest of the week off. I can reallocate that. There's a number of ways I can do that. And, yeah, we talked about Gantt chart anywhere. And being able to see exactly the same information as we do from the individual project and even linking between projects. So having those dependencies as required. So being able to not just have dependencies within a project, but also between projects. And if we're logging time, we like the standalone timesheet, we can do that too. So we can see where people have had time uh, allocated and they've logged time, where they've got scheduled time coming up, whether they've got holiday time booked, we can see this annual leave that's actually been booked and approved, and then non-working days like weekends. 
and the ability to actually log time to other projects. So everything in Mission Control gives you the information at your fingertips. You're not going in and out of various systems. So what today you're probably using two, three or other tools to achieve, you can do in one place with Mission Control and Salesforce.